Spain has entered its fifth month without a government and is likely to spend even more time in political limbo. After months of wrangling, the King Felipe has said that the leaders of the country's four main parties need to do more to try and form a coalition. Let's try and get more on this with Alan Goodman, uh, who joins us from outside Parliament in Madrid. Alan, can you give us some background on this story? How have we reached this point? Why is Spain in this political limbo? Well, Marlene, what we've had just in the last few hours is the makings of a potential last-minute surprise deal that would allow for a new government here months after the election and months after a political deadlock. Now, this under this potential deal, it would be the opposition leader, the socialist leader, who would become the new prime minister with support from a variety of parties, anti-austerity parties, on the left of his socialists. Uh, he is trying to see if this could be a two-year deal before there's any vote of confidence to possibly dismiss him with independence in the government and possibly with some conservatives that he was talking to here in recent months, but that the left didn't like. Now, the elections last December left no party with the majority, so for the last several months, they've been wrangling, really duking it up here at the parliament, unable to make a deal until just as we're approaching the deadline where there's got to be a deal or new elections, out comes this rabbit out of the hat, a possible solution. Malin? Okay, Alan, uh, good of you to talk us through that. Alan Goodman there from Madrid.